so let's see if I can make this just fast. Uh, usually I tend to be kind of long-winded. Let me see if I can do this quickly. So two things, two basic things you have to do. Let's say I want to put a pop-up on this button. So that's a button that I already made. So we've got two, two sides to this thing. We've got the page that you're building with the button element. So um, Salient, I believe, uses this same builder. This is WP Bakery. And usually there's, I don't know, a few different button elements that you can, that you can pick from. They all should share a common trait in that they have this option for extra class name. And we're going to come back to that. So to make your button, just style it however you want. The link will just be uh, pound sign or hashtag. And then you can you know pick all your colors, whatever, icons, whatever, and then save it and we're going to come back to it for the class name piece. Now the other side of it is the pop-up. So there's a section called pop-up maker and then you're going to make a new pop-up. And here's where you're going to put in your uh, I think you said it was a gravity form. So test. Um, I don't have gravity forms on this site. You can even turn on the back end editor so that you can use the visual composer short codes. Um, but you, if it's just a simple form, you probably don't even need to go that far. You would just put your gravity form short code um, I'm going to duplicate that idea with a contact form 7 short code. So I'll just use this. Here's my short code for my form. Um, I think that with your gravity form with this uh, Stripe integration and the payment integration, that would all just happen inside of gravity forms. It would output your short code and then you would just copy your short code into the pop-up content area, which is this area. Now here's your pop-up settings area. Triggers, this is what makes a pop-up open. So we're gonna add a trigger, it's gonna be click open, and then we're not gonna use a cookie because we want them to be able to reopen it as many times as they want. And if you set a cookie, that's gonna make it stop showing for a set period of time. We want it to always open whenever someone clicks it. So click open. And here is our CSS selector. So we're going to make a class called test pop-up. And here we have the period in front of it because this will accept more designations than just classes. So class isn't, um, it's not implied here because it could also be an ID. But we want to, I'm, I like to use a class so that I can use it multiple times on the page if I want to, uh, whereas uh, ID can only be used once per page. So knowing that my class is test pop-up, I'm going to copy this all but except for the period because I won't be using the period elsewhere. And then we've got all these other parameters. So targeting, you can choose like which this would be more for your automated pop-ups, like which pages you want it to go on there's all sorts of conditions I have an extra plugin on that has like even more conditions it's one of the things that makes the premium version of this plugin the best I think so display you can have you, there's some presets here um, this is the the classic one and then there's a few pre-configured themes which are also fully editable size and these are all pretty straightforward. Um, the main thing that I like to change that's not default, also if you have, since you're going to be having a form, 
I'm not sure if this is integrated with Gravity Forms. I think it is, though, so it'll close the pop-up once they uh, hit the Buy button or whatever completes that form. And then I like to do the Click Overlay to close so they don't have to hit only the X button on it, but they can also click outside of the pop-up. Um, that's not clicked, checked by default, so I checked that one on. And then Advanced, I think we're good there. So then we're going to publish this, go back to this page, find the button that we added. Now in our button settings, extra class name, no period here because it's, it is a class, so class is implied, so it doesn't need a period. Save. And let's take a look. There it is. I mean, there's some stuff in here that looks like it would need to be styled separately that's going on, pulling from things. This was not where this contact form was meant to be used, but I mean, that's that's the basics. That should get you, get you uh, walking down the right path. So, good luck.